A developing story here tonight. Roughly two dozen protesters gathering in Port Neches in the rain, hoping to put pressure on PNG to consider changing its Indian mascot. They gathered less than a week after the band and Indianettes marched down Main Street at Disney World. Their protests coincided with a PNG school board meeting tonight, but this issue wasn't even on the agenda. We have two reporters in Port Neches tonight covering both sides. In a minute, Cameron Seibert will explain how the community is rallying around its traditions. But first to Simona Barca and the calls for change. Simona set the scene for us. Well, Jordan, we're soaked, and so are the protesters who lined up outside the PNG administrative building earlier today. Right here, we had about 20 protesters along the sidewalk, a mix of current and former students, among other people who say it's time to change the mascot. An on-again, off-again debate has washed over the PNG community again, and this time it's spread across the country after PNG's spring break performance at Disney World. If those who are being represented think it's offensive, then I don't really say why it would even be an argument. That was a general sentiment of protesters gathered outside the PNG admin building today. These past and present PNG students say it's time to change the mascot. Change is difficult and it's scary. I know everybody in the community says it's our culture, but it's not. We even spoke with a former Indianette, Diana Mehta, who graduated in 2019. She often felt like what they were doing was wrong, but she didn't quite understand why until later. I was in Indiana, they never told us what the importance of a headdress was, what we were singing, our dance movements, like we didn't know what that meant or what it represented. The calls for change have grown louder as indigenous people across the country join the movement and try to put pressure on PNG. They organized Monday's protest via social media. Again, this issue has come up in the past. So far, there are no plans to change the school's mascot or traditions. I'm in Port Natchez, Simona Barca, 12 News.